Hey guys, so this right here is a brass ball valve and today I'm going to teach you how to solder one of these to copper pipe correctly. So what you're going to need other than the valve itself is a high heat torch. Since these valves are made of much thicker metal than copper pipe, like a piece here which is quite thin, you're going to need a higher heat torch. You need fuel for the torch. I'm just using propane but for larger sizes I recommend map gas. You're going to need your regular copper pipe cleaning tool, either one of these brushes or sand cloth, some solder, flux, and a brush. So let's get started with the soldering. So the first step when soldering a ball valve, just as with any soldering project, is to make sure the surface is clean. So you can see it's shiny and there's no oxidation. It's a good idea to clean the inside of the valve too. Even if it looks clean and shiny, there's always going to be some dirt and oxidation. So it's important to get that off. So I've cleaned up the copper pipe, put the valve on, and of course I used flux on all the joints, which is standard procedure when soldering anything. And now it's time to solder. So once you've got your torch set up, you wanna point the flame away from the ball. Inside here is a Teflon seal, which can melt if you don't solder it properly. So it's important to keep the heat away from the ball. To do this, you just aim the flame towards the joint, right where the joint here meets the copper pipe. So it's right at that area like this. Once the joint's hot enough, you can see the solder flows right in. One other thing to note is that make sure that you solder the valve in the open position. If you do it in the closed position, you may damage the ball because the trapped air inside will heat up and build up pressure. Now let's solder the other end. As you can see here, the handle's in the way. Now don't just flip it closed because like I said, you have to solder the ball valve in the open position. Instead, just grab a wrench and take off the handle. You only need to do this if the handle is in the way because you obviously don't want to burn it. It just looks unprofessional to have a burnt rubber handle. So you would just remove the nut and you can take the handle right off. That nut felt kind of hot, but it's definitely still safe to touch, which means that we've concentrated most of the heat at the joint. Now I can solder this other side of the valve. Looking good now. So basically, that's how you do it. The valve is now soldered. All we have to do is wait for it to cool. And then there's one final and quite important thing that needs to be done. So here's the ball valve we soldered. After turning on the water and checking for leaks, it's important to tighten down this packing nut here slightly if you see any dripping. So sometimes that nut will loosen because you just heated up the valve and now it's cool again and that can cause a slow leak there. Just tighten it up with an adjustable wrench until it's snug and the leak should stop. Usually though, you're not going to have any water coming out of there at all. It's pretty rare, but sometimes it does happen. So don't be alarmed because it is a normal part of soldering ball valves. Now it's important to put the handle back on. Otherwise you have no way of turning it. Just put that nut right back on there. This valve is kind of cheap and the threads are not very easy to get aligned, but just tighten up that nut and then this valve is good to go. Also, you may have seen in stores, there are both brass and bronze ball valves. This procedure works for both of them, but bronze valves are higher quality because bronze resists corrosion better than brass. They do cost a bit more. The cheap brass ones like this one are good for lighter duty projects like above ground indoor plumbing. And it seems to work well once it's all soldered up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and see you all next time.